Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about derivatives of exponential and trigonometric functions. We will be continuing the theorems that we are discussing from the previous video. Theorem number 7. Derivative of the natural exponential function f of x is equal to e raised to x. The derivative of the natural exponential function f of x equals e raised to x is d over dx of e raised to x is equal to e raised to x. Thus, the derivative of the natural exponential function f of x is equal to e raised to x is still itself e raised to x. For example, find f prime of x if f of x is equal to 3e raised to x. f prime of x is equal to 3 times the derivative of e raised to x and remember that the derivative of e raised to x is equal to e raised to x. Thus, its derivative is equal to 3e raised to x. Another one. Find g prime of x if g of x is equal to negative 4x squared e raised to x plus 5x e raised to x minus 10 e raised to x. To find g prime of x, for the first and second term, we will be using the product rule. Thus, g prime of x will be equal to negative 4x squared times e raised to x plus e raised to x times 8x plus 5x times e raised to x plus e raised to x times 5 minus 10 e raised to x. Simplifying this, we will have negative 4x squared e raised to x minus 8x e raised to x plus 5x e raised to x plus 5 e raised to x minus 10 e raised to x. Combining like terms, negative 8x e raised to x plus 5x e raised to x and 5 e raised to x minus 10 e raised to x, we will have negative 4x squared e raised to x minus 3x e raised to x minus 5 e raised to x. Theorem number 8. Derivative of the general exponential function f of x equals a raised to x. The derivative of the general exponential function f of x equals a raised to x, where a is any positive real number but not equal to 1, is given by d over dx of a raised to x is equal to a raised to x l and a. So for example, Find the f prime of x if f of x is equal to 9 raised to x. From the given, remember, notice that a is equal to 9. Hence, using the given rule that the derivative of a raised to x is equal to a raised to x ln a, we will have the derivative of f of x to be 9 raised to x times ln 9. Another example. If g of x is equal to 4 e raised to x plus 12 raised to x, find g prime of x. g prime of x is equal to 4 e raised to x plus 12 raised to x ln 12. Another example, find h prime of x if h of x is equal to 5 raised to x times x squared plus x. On this given, we can use the product rule letting f of x to be 5 raised to x and g of x to be x squared plus x. So therefore, recall that h prime of x by product rule will be equal to f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. Letting f of x be equal to 5 raised to x and g of x be equal to x squared plus x and finding their derivative, we will have the derivative of f of x to be 5 raised to x ln 5 and the derivative of g of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Substituting them to our formula, we will have h prime of x to be equal to 5 raised to x times 2x plus 1 plus x squared plus x quantity 5 raised to x ln 5. Simplifying it, 
we will have 2x, 5 raised to x, plus 5 raised to x, plus x squared, 5 raised to x, ln 5, plus x, 5 raised to x, ln 5. From here, notice that the common factor is 5 raised to x. So when we factor out 5 raised to x, we can have the final answer to be 5 raised to x quantity 2x plus 1 plus x squared ln 5 plus x ln 5. Theorem number 9. Derivatives of trigonometric functions. The following are the derivatives of the six basic trigonometric functions. d over dx of sine x is equal to cosine x. d over dx of cosine x is equal to negative sine x. d over dx of tan x is equal to second squared x. d over dx of cotangent x is equal to cosecant squared x. d over dx of second x is equal to second x tangent x and d over dx of cosecant x is equal to negative cosecant x cotangent x. Let us now apply these rules on the following examples. Differentiate f of x equals second x plus 3 cosecant x. From here, we will be differentiating each term secant x and 3 cosecant x. And remember that the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. And the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. Thus, the derivative of f of x will be equal to secant x tangent x minus 3 cosecant x cotangent x. Another example, differentiate g of x which is equal to x squared sine x minus 3x cosine x plus 5 sine x. For the first term and the second term, we may apply the product rule, setting x squared as the first factor to be f of x and sine x to be h of x. Another one here, set this as f of x and here set this as h of x. So using product rule, we will have the following. g prime of x will be equal to x squared times cosine x plus sine x times 2x minus 3 times negative sine x plus cosine x times 3 plus 5 cosine x. Simplifying, we will have x squared cosine x plus 2x sine x plus 3x sine x minus 3 cosine x plus 5 cosine x. We may combine like terms like 2x sine x and 3x sine x and negative 3 cosine x and 5 cosine x. Therefore, the final answer will be x squared cosine x plus 5x sine x plus 2 cosine x. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about the extreme values. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next lesson.